This is Darren with Spread Edge Capital. This week, I will highlight a Coco calendar spread that was published in the Spread Edge newsletter this past weekend. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can try the Spread Edge newsletter and daily alert service for just $1 for the first month. Coco broke through the downward trend line in late March and has continued higher. Coco is now extended and most likely to retrace back to the breakout point. This page shows the Commodity Outlook summary page that is included in the newsletter. The Commodity Outlook includes weekly price change, seasonality, commitment of traders, relative positioning, CTA positioning, relative strength, and commodity carry and roll. Each of these indicators is explained in detail in the newsletter. Looking at the Outlook summary, there are five things that jump out at me. First is seasonality. Second is commitment of traders. Third is relative price and positioning. Fourth is CTA momentum. And finally, it's the relative strength index. I'll review each of these indicators in more detail on the following pages. Please note, trading futures involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There are no guarantee of profits no matter who is trading your account. Seasonality data is generated by Seasonalgo. Entry and exit dates are analyzed and scored for every possible expiration month combination. Scores are based on a proprietary formula that considers average profit, drawdown, and win percent over the most recent 15 year period. Negative values indicate sell, positive indicate buy, blanks indicate no significant seasonal trend. The higher the value, the stronger the historical seasonality trend. Coco has a strong bearish seasonality score of negative 85 for trades entered during this next trading week. Seasonality scores remain bearish for the next three trading weeks. Commitment of trader data, commonly referred to as COT, is generated by peak trading research using data published every week by the CFTC. Hedge funds are price drivers in the agriculture markets. Peak uses machine learning algorithms to provide daily fund position estimates and context around how extended long, represented by red, or extended short, represented by green, the funds are, on the date listed on the report. Coco has a 95 out of a possible 100 net position percentile for non-commercial hedge funds and a 93 of 100 for managed money hedge funds. In addition, the Z-scores, which measures how statistically extended current fund positioning is versus recent history, is the highest amongst all ag markets. The next section of the Commodity Outlook is Relative Price and Positioning. Relative positioning is oversold versus overbought on the horizontal axis. This looks at commitment of traders' current net position compared to COT data over the most recent 24-month period. Relative price is cheap versus expensive on the vertical axis. This is a comparison of the front month current price compared to the front month price over the most recent 24 month period. Coco has been amongst the most overbought and expensive markets in the ag complex for the past several weeks. Markets can stay elevated in relative price and position for extended periods. However, the other indicators suggest that Coco is ready to return to more normal levels. The CTA positioning and momentum score is an accurate measure of current momentum and trend following trader positioning using a positive 10 to negative 10 scale. Momentum and trend following traders represent a large percentage of trading and can move markets significantly higher or lower. Also included is the relative strength index, which is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. RSI has a scale of 0 to 100. Note that COCO has a 9 of 10 momentum score 
indicating the CTAs are nearly fully invested and have little trading capital to add to existing longs. Note also that the RSI score is 64, indicating a high likelihood of reversal. Spread charts represent the difference between the front month and the back month contracts and are simply the front month minus the back month price. Spreads that are sold profit when the price gets more negative or less positive. Spreads that are bought profit when prices get more positive or less negative. To trade COCO, I will sell the September 23, December 23 calendar spread. To recap, I'm adding to my existing COCO position for the following reasons. One, seasonality is extremely favorable. Two, commitment of trader data is 95 out of a 100 point scale. Three, COCO is amongst the most expensive and overbought markets in the ag complex. Four, CTAs are nearly fully invested with little additional capital to buy more longs. And finally, the relative strength index is 64 in very near reversal territory. You can participate in the spread edge strategy in two ways. Both involve your broker, your account, and your money. This can be done through a subscription service where you place the trades yourself based on the recommendations posted in advance in the weekly newsletter, or through a professionally managed account for the standard management and incentive fees. Both options have identical trades and strategy. That's all for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. To subscribe to the newsletter, go to www.spreadedgecapital.com forward slash products. Also, you can use coupon code SPREADEDGE at checkout and get $48 off of any subscription. This allows you to try the monthly subscription for just $1.